What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Garrett here coming at you with the follow-up to our Team Builder Tuesday. We had this past Tuesday. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go over the team real quick. If you missed the Team Builder video, I highly suggest you go and you check that video out. Uh, it really goes into greater detail on what our team is about. There was one small change uh, since then, but Nothing huge. Uh, Tetramand, our Machamp, Choice Scarf, Machamp, No Guard, uh, Huggy, the Evia, like Gligar, Rock and Stealth, Rock and Tailwind for our Choice Scarf, Machamp to get you just a little bit more speedy. Um, Pebbles, the Mandibuzz, Rock and Leftovers, Overcoat, and it's basically just our knockoff Defog user. Uh, throwing some toxic, ar toxic around if we need to. Uh, Venom, the Galvantula, uh, Focus Sash, basically just here for Sticky Web and maybe a few special hits uh, if we can you know, get it going. Uh, Cusco, the Slow King, Rocking Regenerator, Life Orb, a uh, huge special attacker. And we have Bronson, the Entei. We did have to change because I always forget this every time I use Entei that there is only one kind of Entei you can use if you use Extreme Speed Entei. And uh, that is the only Entei anybody wants to use. So it has to be shiny and we had to make it adamant and not jolly. So that's the only thing that has changed. It is the only thing. It is now shiny and it is adamant. That's it. Let's go ahead and get right into a battle. Hopefully the volume is not too loud. I just tried to uh, tune it right. That doesn't even sound that loud at all. That sounds good. All right. Let's see what our opponent has to work with. He's got the Tyrantrum, which is one of the best Pokemon in the RU tier. We got to watch out for that. Um, I believe if we can get up a Sticky Web, we should be good. But we got to watch out for Defog, Moltres, and Rapid Spinning Dawn fans. And he's also got good leads in uh, Snorlax because he walls a lot of the things that we want to lead with. Uh, I feel like my best bet is to lead with Pebbles, but of course he leads with his Tyrantrum, which I honestly didn't expect to happen. I honestly expected him to either lead with his Hoopa, Snorlax, or his Donphan, but I guess he didn't really have a reason not to, considering that his Tyrantrum does mad work to pretty much all of my team. Uh, hopefully he doesn't have Ice Fang or anything. Yeah, he has Head Smash, and it didn't do around 40%, which leads me to believe it's more uh, speedy. So that's what leads me to believe this is his Scarf Pokemon. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just rock out with a Stealth Rock. He's probably going to go for the Defog here. Uh, in which case I am going to probably... I can swap out into Bronson because he probably doesn't have anything hard he wants to throw at me. Uh, he's got Fire Blast, but that doesn't really matter to us. It doesn't really matter to us. Um, he does likely have something that can hit me hard but i also figure he might be defogger uh so my safest play is to go for stone edge here uh, which is what i'm going to go ahead and do I, I i didn't want to over predict there just because if it was his defogger then he was going to predict me to over predict and just go right away for the defog and now i don't want to lose my entei on this tyrantrum um but he's probably going to predict the gligar to come in so i don't know what he would go for um hmm I'm just going to go right back out into Gligar. Hey, he does make the uh, smart play into going out into his Hoopa, uh, which can probably body me with an HP Ice or uh, Will-O-Wisp me or Knock Off, something like that. Uh, in which case, we're just going to go right into Pebbles, uh, take a never-ending Nightmare uh, Z-Move. Um, I feel like we can just safely go for Knock Off here because it's going to knock off somebody's item. Uh, it knocks off the Dawn Fan's... Uh, leftovers. We're going to go for the Toxic because I know he's going to go for the Rapid Spin or the Stealth Rock, which uh, honestly doesn't bother me. I don't really care about um, rocks on my side. Um, and I'm fine with them being on his. I'm going to go for the Roost to see if he goes for the Rapid Spin. He actually just goes for the Knock Off. Nice. Okay. I'm going to go for another Knock Off, predicting him to switch or go for the Rapid Spin. If he goes for the Rapid Spin, I can safely go for my own Defog and get these rocks off of my side of the field so I can preserve my Galvantula's Focus Sash. Playing a very hazardous game here right now. Uh, he does opt to stay in and go for the Rapid Spin, just as I thought. Uh, to now, I could just go for the Defog. Uh, hopefully he doesn't double rocks here. That would be a pretty smart play if he just straight double rocked here. Um... Yeah, that would be nuts. I don't, I don't, I don't know how I could handle that. <laughs> I don't know how I could handle that pro play. That would be a pro play in half. If, if he did that, then I would have no choice but to just um, just deal with rocks. I, I hope I did a good enough job uh, bluffing that I didn't have defog. Uh, just staying in and going for knockoffs. Although I didn't reveal my third move, so 
hopefully he thinks it's like Brave Bird or something. And the only reason I've been going for knockoff is because I'm trying to catch one of his other Pokemon in on a Switch. Because uh, I assume this could be Assault Vest or Banded or Scarfed. This is definitely Scarfed. That was a Z move. This has got to be like Leftovers or Berry or something like that. And then you are uh, you're about to die. So we're okay with this. We're alright with this. <sighs> oh, actually it looks like he left the battle. So he has one minute to connect. Hopefully, you know what, let's go ahead and... Uh, We'll, we'll give him about 30 seconds. We'll give him about 30 seconds. Let's contemplate this match right now. Um, if he did double rocks, like I said, we would have to deal with rocks. But if he didn't, we defog the rocks away. And now, now I'm just talking about best case scenario. We defog the rocks away. And he dies to Toxic, I believe. And then uh, in comes the Tyrantrum, of course. Um, so that he can completely body me. And my appropriate switch is... Um, Gligar. My appropriate switch is Gligar, but the question is, would I even want to make that switch? Because if I go out into Gligar for the second time, uh, he's going to do what he did uh, by going out into uh, Hoopa. So this time, I could predict that and go out into my own Slooking, and then we could just play the battle from there. Honestly, it's not really important to try and uh, wrap our heads around it. Uh, we got that win, so now we're just going to go ahead and rock out, try and get another one, try and steal another win. It's just one win. All right, searching, searching, searching. Hopefully, hopefully we snag one really quick. Uh, gonna do my little trick here, just cancel and search again. Hopefully, one pops up even faster. That's usually how it works for me. Uh, if it doesn't work right now, oh well, it worked. Okay, so we got a really bulky squad right now. Literally, more than half of my opponent's team is bulky, uh, which means I'm probably gonna need to save the. Uh, Galvantula here because it doesn't look like uh, sticky webs are going to be coming in so much handy uh, due to the fact that most of the Pokemon on my opponent's field are already really really slow. Um, if he leads with Ty if he goes lead Tyrantrum again, we'll be in trouble. But I believe he would lead with either his Bronzong or his Nidoqueen. Uh To which case, I feel safest. Into which case I feel safest leading with my Galvantula. But if he predicts that, we're going to be in quite the pickle. If, we, if he predicts that, we lose our answer to Blastoise. So honestly, I don't want to lead Galvantula. Because Galvantula is too important to me this battle. Um, I honestly feel like I could lead with Pebbles. Yeah, just because just I knew something like this was going to end up happening. So let's Gage. Uh, let's Scarf. Let's Scarf Tyrantrum, most definitely. Um, he's definitely going to swap into somebody, uh, like Blastoise, definitely. And I feel safest just going out into, I can go Pebbles on a Dark Pulse, actually. Wow, he predicted the, the uh, Slowking to come in. So we can just go for a nice and powerful Toxic, because he is definitely the Mega Blastoise. <sighs> Hopefully not rocking Ice Beam. Uh, there it is. That's fine. Uh, we don't really care about no Ice Beam losing about 50% of our health right now, though. I feel like the most expendable Pokemon on my team right now is, without a doubt, Pebbles. So I'm just going to go for the Roost. Ow. Ouch. Oh, I'm so hurt right now. Um, So I get to actually get a free Roost off right there. And it kind of makes me want to switch out into my Slow King, but it's my only answer for Nido King, Nido Queen right now. I mean, I have other answers. I mean, honestly, if there was any Pokemon that's the least useful to me right now, it is likely to be Slow King. Now I'm just weighing my options here. I'm gonna go Slow King. Ooh, interesting, interesting. So he goes Shaman on the uh, Slow King. I'm gonna go right back out into uh, Pebbles. Uh, he does go for an unfortunate uh, substitute. I'm actually going to go into Venom, and I'm going to click Bug Buzz because it goes through substitute. I hope to an extent that he does predict this and get out of here, uh, just so just so I'm not dealing with a Shaman with a substitute up right now. So he does go Nita Queen. That's fine. Uh, this actually gives me the opportunity. I'm going to go for my own Sticky Webs. He's going to go for Stealth Rocks. 
that's fine because I'm already kind of in a pickle. I'm going to go out into... I want to keep Huggy around for the Tyrantrum, if need be. But I've got my sticky webs up, so I don't have too much to worry about. I'm going to go Cusco. We're going to go Cusco and, wow, tank and Earth Power. Um, I, I'm just going to go for the Safe Scald, because if I try to click Psyshock and he goes out in a Sneasel, then we're all just going to have a bad day. So I'm just going to go for the nice Scald, the nice and powerful Scald. Uh, we don't take the second Earth Power, unfortunately, so we did just lose uh, one of our most important Mons. Uh, well, one of our, eh, not the most important, but one of. Uh, now we're just losing Pokemon left and right. I don't know what's happening right now, you guys. I'm kind of having a loose understanding of what's going on. Uh, Sacred Fire is going to do a lot. And he does go out into the Blastoise and does about 37%. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to risk it. Mm, nice, 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 nice. So we take out one of the biggest threats he had on us. So now, But now he has a free switch into his Tyrantrum, though. And his Tyrantrum is going to body somebody. Completely body somebody. <sighs> it's a good thing we got rid of his Rapid Spinner, though. Hopefully we can take this game back. Uh, we did lose our Gligar, who I was relying on heavily for the Tyrantrum. I don't know why I swapped in my uh, Gligar on his Nidoqueen. I knew it was going to have Ice Beam. I don't know why I did that. I... For some reason, I felt like I could outspeed, but my speed is ass, so I don't know what I was thinking. I have no idea what I was thinking just now. Ugh, Aryu makes me so nervous. Aryu makes me so nervous. I get so nervous when I play Aryu, because I just don't know the tier that well. I've been playing like crazy, though. When I ma when I recorded the Team Builder video, I started playing like crazy trying to catch up. Ugh, 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 the um, Mandibuzz. As he actually goes for Dragon Claw. So he's scarfed. He's scarfed right now. And I can just go for a nice and safe knockoff. Or. I'm going for Toxic on his incoming Shaman. Oh, he actually goes Sneasel. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. 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 I'm going to go for a Roost. And live his icicle crash um, I don't have confidence I'm gonna live another one I mean you know two there's no point in trying to roost stall that because I was eventually going to get killed uh, he took my leftovers though <laughs> he took my leftovers you bastard you bastard um, I'm not gonna click default I'm just gonna click roost right now uh, because there's there's any number of things that this Pokemon's gonna try and do right now any number of things any, any, any number of things. I wish I had my phone over here, because then I could have a calculator on me. Because there's so much speed involved in these battles. <sighs> now, the real question is, do I want to go ahead and send out my Machamp? Because my real win condition in this match is likely my Bronson. I'm going to send out um, Machamp, just so we can... We're just going to click dynamic, dynamic Punch. We're just going to go ahead and get that thing out of here. His Nido Queen is going to try and come in on us. Ugh, this is so stressful. This is so stressful. Why does this have to be so stressful? Oh, my okay. God. Okay. It's also even worse when, you have, when you're trying to use Pokemon that aren't really considered the best in this tier. And you've got everybody else around you. You know, everybody else experiments, but everybody else is also trying to you know, do the best they can with the Pokemon that they're given. I, I'm, I'm not trying to waste my Pokemon right now. So what I am going to do is I'm, I'm clicking Bug Buzz, and nobody can stop me. I'm clicking Bug Buzz, and not a single person can stop me. Oh, my girlfriend texted me. So now I have to find my phone. Now I have to find my phone. I'm clicking bug buzz again. Where is my phone? Where did I put that thing? Where are you? Phone? Oh, it's on the couch. Can my headphones reach all the way over here? Excuse me, babe. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. That's my dog. I'm gonna text my girlfriend. What do you want? Ugh. Ugh, okay. 
So I went for the Bug Buzz. It did absolutely nothing. Um, he's just going to go for the uh, Protect. So there's really nothing I can do. I have to let my Pokemon go down. Hmm. Maybe I'm not playing this smart enough. Um, um, if he's RU specially defensive, which he might not even be. Um, Dynamic Punch is doing about 50%. There's no way he would stay in on a Sacred Fire, would he? I mean, it doesn't matter. I, I'm clicking Sacred Fire. Um, boom. Dead. Almost. Almost dead. Uh, I can, without a doubt, click Sacred Fire again. And now the real question is... Um, <laughs> my girlfriend just texted me, Are you hungry for some pizza? And she spelled it hungry like... <laughs> like the freaking... Oh my god. I can't believe she just did that. She said it. She spelled it exactly the way uh, the country is spelled, and it's funny because I'm my family descends from Hungary. <laughs> I don't. Know, I can't tell if she made a, a, a mistake or not. It's that's actually hilarious. Uh, but now I can just click. Um, I can just press dynamic punch, and I should be able to outspeed this thing. Uh, dynamic punch did about fifty four percent. I think I can just click it again on this shaman. I think I can just do that. I think I can just do that. And it does kill the Shaman, so the Shaman does go down. And now Bronzong's going to come back out. Which may or may not be a problem for us. Um, let me look at let me look at this up. Let me look at this up. i got to calculate something real quick on an actual calculator. Uh, so if a max speed of a Tyrantrum is 265 times 1.5 for his choice scarf he maxes out at like 397 397 um but times 0.67 for the speed drop he's at 266 which does not outspeed my um bronson what hp are you at though oh he's probably at like full Ugh. so what i have to do here is i have to go bronson and I have to click Sacred Fire. I don't have a choice. I have to do this. Oh, this is such a close match. He can... I think... He can just stay in Toxic Stall me to death. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what he can just do. Um, what am I doing? Um, Entei, you Choice Band. Uh, extreme Speed. Oh, not Extreme Speed. What the hell? Sacred Fire kills this thing. How much is Iron Head doing? Because Iron Head, Iron Head does about the same as uh, Extreme Speed, so it's not like it would even matter. Uh, damn it! How much does Sacred Fire do to a Tyrant Tyrantrum? Where are you at? Where are you at? Uh, Scarf, Iron Head. What the fuck? Jesus Christ! Um. Sacred Fire. Sacred Fire does about 20%. <laughs> Why do you have to do this? I knew he was going to do that. So Sacred Fire is the best play here. Even if he does swap out. Even if he does swap out, it's the best play. Shoot, man. Shoot. Ugh. Maybe if I had played smarter with my uh, Machamp, he wouldn't be so uh, weak right now. He wouldn't be so slow. Oh, hopefully I get a burn. Oh, I didn't mean it. Well, now all I can do is just stay in and just click Dynamic Punch. I should be able to outspeed this thing. If he scarfed, even if he scarfed, I should be able to outspeed this thing. If my calculations are all correct, if my calculations are all correct, I should be able to outspeed this Tyrant. <laughs> I actually hope he switches out. If I'm being 100%, I hope he's, I mean, there's no reason for him to switch out. There's just no reason. He should, he should stay in, but he's, any attack he goes for would kill me, except I would kill him first with my dynamic punch. So now the real question is, uh, he's going to go for protect, I'm going to go for dynamic punch, I'm going to go for dynamic punch, and he's going to kill me with um, gyro ball? Yep. Oh, GG. 
that was good on you. Great match, great match, great match all around. Definitely, I feel like we played that, you know, as best we could, except for the fact that we misplayed really hard when we gave up Gligar. When we gave up Gligar, we gave up the match. Ugh, that's really unfortunate, but... Whatever, it still came out to be a pretty decent match. I liked it still. I was pretty satisfied with it. Um, yeah, the only thing I can really think of that we just could have done so much better was just not sack off Gligar the way we did. <sighs> but now we got another one, and we got a buddy here. Oh, wow, rocking the same avatar and the same Mon? Wow, okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we can do then. Let's see how we can uh, handle this. Steelix is probably going to be a problem. Uh, let me look at this. Um, let's go ahead and whip out Tetraman. That's a Ben 10 reference for any of you nerds out there. Uh, we got a NU tank, I assume, because it's RU. Dynamic Punch is actually doing pretty good to it, but Gyro Ball is going to be doing crazy amounts. So we got to try our best to mitigate that issue. I feel like my safest bet right now is to lead... Honestly, I feel like leading Cusco. Because he's going to lead Flygon. And what does Flygon want? I want to set up a Calm Mind. Because I can eat that up. And yes, it was a joke. According to my girlfriend. But she's going to give me pizza though. So that's good. That's good. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Alright. Uh, this thing is going to kill us. No doubt about that in my mind. Uh, so we are definitely going to go... Uh, Pebbles. Oh, wow, he stayed in. Or he went for spikes, I meant. That's interesting. Um, then I guess it's an even better thing that we went into pebbles, because we can just knock off. I was definitely fearing the first lunge there. I think that's what it's called, lunge or uh, first strike. I can't remember. What the hell is that called? Um, you guys are probably hating this right now that I do this. Sometimes in my video, I just have like an empty team slot, so I can look up Pokemon and their moves. Um, but uh, Glycopod. What is that move called? First impression, that's what it is. First strike, first impression. Uh, gonna go ahead and Steelix on my knockoff as I knock... Oh, he's Mega Steelix then. Um, well, I'm definitely gonna go for the Defog. I'm definitely gonna go for the Defog again, sir. Do you have something you want to say to me? He goes for Heavy Slam and we completely eat that alive. Um, I'm gonna go into my Cusco. And I'm just going to click Scald, because I want to see how much it does, and maybe get a burn on something. Um, if he goes Shaman, that'd be nice, but he doesn't. He goes Golisopod. Please get a burn. No burn. Alright, that's fine. Uh, now I'm definitely fearing the first lunge, considering that he didn't go for it a, this time, the first time. As he does go for the first impression. Why am I keep saying first lunge? It's first impression. And he's probably going to outspeed and go for a Liquidate. Oh no, we outspeed. We outspeed. Liquidation does about 26.9%, and we're just going to roost up here. Um, go ahead and just get it all nice and roosted up. Um, I'm just gonna tell her get whatever I don't mind. I don't. I don't care. I don't have a preference for pizza, really, babe. Pizza, pizza is pizza is as pizza does, and for right now pizza just does. So any any pizza will do. I have a timer that's about to go off, and I don't want that to happen. It means I gotta go get my laundry. Gonna get that timer started, bro. Taking too damn long. As we do go for this nice and roost. Uh oh. Uh oh, Skadios. Should have gone for the knockoff. Oh no! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It was a misclick. Oh, but it actually played out. Oh, come the fuck on. Wow. Well, I'm gonna try and wake up or unfreeze, which doesn't. Oh no 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 no! <sighs> damn it! Damn it! Miss clicking everywhere. Damn! Okay, I honestly don't. I just don't like this matchup now. Like, we have lost, I feel. I just gave up one of our biggest fucking users. I mean, there's nothing I can do now, really. Like, I'm just fucked beyond belief. Man, that sucks. <sighs> I'm not going to forfeit just right away. I'm just, I'm going to try and play it out as best I can. But it's like, oh, man, that was two big misplays right there. Misclicks. Not even a misplay. I didn't even mean to do that. Please hit yourself. Give me some justice. Oh, 
I'm sorry, guys. Uh, this match just went downhill in like three seconds flat. I can't believe I did that. Ugh, are you makes me so nervous. Ugh, I, I swear to God, I can't do anything in RU without messing up. That's how I just feel. I feel like I can't even like move my mouse around the screen without arbitrarily accident, arbitrarily or accidentally clicking up the Pokemon I didn't even want to pick. Oh my god, that makes me so mad. <sighs> okay, okay, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. <sighs> shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. We got this, we got this, we got this. You can do this, you can do this. He's got dust talks. Interesting. Okay, that's a PU bond. Get that shit out of here. Man, I can't wait to get to PU. Alright, and this guy's picking up my spirits a little bit. He said, good luck, have fun. I'm going to say you too. Whew. Okay, okay, okay. So he's got a defogger in Dust Talks. I'm pretty sure Dust Talks gets defog. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to straight up lead um, with Venom. And I'm going to throw out some sticky webs. I don't care what this Dusk Noir wants to go for. I just don't care. Go for the Confuse Ray. Bet. I mean, it's fine. I'm going to go out into my um, Mandibuzz. So now I can preserve my Galvantula for some later time. Here's with a Shadow Punch. It literally did nothing. <laughs> I got all my HP back. And I can solidly go for a knockoff here. Or I can go for a Toxic. Yeah, I'm going to Toxic the Dusknoir and get that thing nice and nice and Toxic. Right now I'm going to try and break through the Confusion. I'm going to try and break through and go for a knockoff. And we do manage to break through and go for a knockoff. We'll go for the leftovers. He goes for a Memento anyway. That's interesting. It's very interesting because I'm not really an attacking Pokemon. Um, here we have a Charizard, though. Uh, we're going to try and go for a Toxic here. Uh, yes. So we do get a Toxic off, which is very, very good. <sighs> He's definitely going to be able to thrash us pretty badly. Um, I feel my best plays... Whoa! Why did that do so much? I'm clicking E-Speed. Forget this. Why did that do so much? I resist it. Goodness gracious. Yo, I don't... I gotta stop underestimating Charizard in the sun. Regular Charizard in the sun. I Man, I'm sitting over here thinking, wow, this guy is like a freaking fricker. You're a freaking fricker. I can still use this for some e-speed shenanigans later. Uh, even though, you know, everything's dropped. Uh, Bandit e-speed is pretty good still. Uh, so what I feel like I'm gonna do is I am going to go... I'm gonna go out into my uh, pebbles. As he is going to start cursing up, guess what? I'm going to start toxicing you. I'm going to toxic you. Go ahead and get that going. And I'm going to get the knockoff. I should save my uh, Mandibuzz, though. Because Mandibuzz could come in handy on the Drapion. And we knock off his leftovers. Aqua Tail does nothing. I'm sorry, my friend. It does nothing. Um, I predict him to go for a curse or a recover or something, so I'm going to go Galvantula. As he actually does opt to just stay in, that's fine. Hopefully he doesn't have Aqua Jet. Does Quagsire get Aqua Jet? I'm about to find out. Nope. Okay. So that was cool, saving our Venom just for that Quagsire, which is kind of what I was doing the entire time. That's what I was just thinking about. I was like, that Quagsire is going to be a problem. And lo and behold. Um, so we got this guy out right now. He's definitely got Sucker Punch, so I'm just going to go for a Thunder. Oh, he baited me well now his speed is neutral uh, now I can just click bug buzz his speed is neutral now so it's it, th thanks to sticky webs it wasn't that hard of a misplay I don't know why I didn't even see that coming uh, but that just happened uh, we ugh, damn it. our choice scarf maxes out at 313 and he is maxed out at 317 what I could do is I could just go Bronson and click E-Speed. Banded E-Speed still does work. And it does kill. That's good. Good. Entei coming through. Entei is coming through right now. With those Banded E-Speeds. Alright, so Drapion is now an issue. I'm clicking Banded E-Speed. And it does nothing. Whoa, why don't you relax, my friend? Why don't you just relax? I'm going for another band at E-Speed, because I'm not taking any chances with a Drapion right now. Uh, he does go. He does opt to kill me. 
And I could go Tetraman because I mean, this is Tetraman's live, so I might as well just go out into Tetraman and click Earthquake. It should kill. Yep. So we click EQ and it kills. That's the first move apart from <laughs> Dynamic Punch that we've used so far. Uh, but we're just going to stay in, click EQ. Uh, you go for Toxic. It's fine. I th unless you're some kind of crazy stall set, we should be able to... Oh, okay. I see what's happening here. I see what's happening here. You're some kind of a monster, aren't you? Okay. Okay. I see. I see what you're doing. But I'm not messing around with this. I'll let you gladly kill my Huggy. But I'm going to stay in and I'm just going to go for... You can't Toxic Stall my Huggy. You just can't. I'm sorry. You can't do it. I, I, I'm immune. I'm immune. Come here and give me a hug. Just come here. You can't. You can't do anything, my friend. You 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 can't do anything. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> you just can't. You wish you could, but you can't. I'm a Gligar. I'm sorry. I shut you down. I shut you entirely down. Everything that you were meant to do in this battle has been completely and utterly shut down. Root bug buzz. Go ahead. I, I'm mm, delicious, delicious, nutritious bug buzz. You know, it's not that good for my stomach, but you know, it just tastes so good. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this right now? Why are you doing this? I have roost too. If you really want to play this game, we'll play this game. Okay. Just take the hit. Just take the hit. Just take the hit, it'll be fine. Don't roost. Alright. Alright, if my opponent's gonna do this, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and grab another battle. We're just gonna go ahead and grab another one. Another one. We don't care. Uh, I guess we'll just pop back over here until another battle loads up. I can't believe this. I hate when people do this. Like, you literally can't do anything to me. You just can't. Um, ooh, boy. Ooh, there's a threatening team on the field right now. But I see some potential work being put in by Machamp if I play my cards right. And I've really got to be careful with my Gligar. I've really got to be careful with my Gligar. Really, really, really got to be. Okay. Um, my safest opening is probably Mandibuzz. If, if he doesn't... Actually, let's just lead with Venom. Um, this shit is still happening over here. Okay, all we have to do is just hit him one more time. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? You better not live on 1%. Alright, we'll, we'll come back to that. Jolteon, as I figured, was going to be the lead, and we're just going to go right for the sticky web. As he's probably going to go hit him on top. Uh, why are you doing this? Okay, so now it doesn't matter what you do. Get out of here. GG. I'll give you the GG anyway. You tried to stall me right now. Uh, Needle Queen actually comes out. Um, I'm not going out into the Pokemon that could potentially do damage, and I don't want to go out into you because Needle Queen hits hard, surprisingly. I'm gonna go with the Energy Ball, nice and safe Energy Ball, as you do go for the Flamethrower. So Cusco actually would have been a good play right there. Um, let's see here. Um, if I were an Entei, let's just imagine for a second that I was an Entei, and you were a Nidoqueen, that's a wall breaker, um, maybe. Sacred Fire does kill. Um, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and do this. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just do this. Because even if he goes Milotic, it should still do damage. And it does damage to everybody else. Please bring out any of your other Pokemon. Okay, good. Just stay in. Sack the Nido Queen. So that's good. That's actually one of the biggest threats to my Gligar. Completely gone. Um, this thing is a problem, though, because it gets rid of the Sticky Web, and we want Sticky Web. Why are you doing this? Um, unfortunately, you go for that. As I, unfortunately, have to click Calm Mine. He's probably going to go into the Umbreon predicting my Psyshock, because it's the obvious play. I mean, if that happens, then I can just... No, nah, I'm just going to click Calm Mine, because I feel like it's the best middle of the play, middle of the ground road. He actually goes Milotic, and has Flame Orb. What? Why are you doing this? Don't do this to me. You know what I'm going to do to you? I'm going to start a timer. That's right. 
You know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to do that annoying thing that I mentioned earlier. My Lobic has higher special defense than she does physical defense. So this should do crazy amount. Oh! It's not doing a crazy amount. That's not doing a crazy amount. I got to go pebbles. I got to. And I can't toxic because it's burned. I got to go for the knockoff. Oh, my Lobic is a problem. My Lobic is a problem. Oh, I just went for the knockoff, so that's good. There's no way I was going to go for the Toxic, and I'm not going to go for the Toxic now. However, mm, there's no reason for me to do so. I feel I feel like Huggy is the best middle of the ground play, because I can go for Stealth Rock right now. <sighs> he could go for Foul Play, but it's not going to do anything. I predict him swapping out to his Milotic, actually. I uh, did not predict that. Did not predict that. You're definitely defensive. You're definitely defensive. Competitive boosted defensive monster. And I'm not going to stay in on a powerful, powerful, powerful Scald. Or am I? I want it to... I, oh, it has Ice Beam. Why do I keep doing this? Um, I'm going... I got, I'm, pressing, I'm pressing my button right now. I'm clicking my champ. I don't care. And I'm clicking Dynamic Punch. Dynamic Punch hits everything on his team except this Milotic. And if I can get off a nice and... Oh, okay. That still did... I did about 47. So if I hit you again and you hit yourself in confusion, then we should, should be able to knock this thing out and get this monster completely out of the way. I wish I had Sticky Web still up. But at least if... Oh, yes! He went for the Mock Punch or something. That just ensured his death. Because there's no way much, much Hit on Top outspeeds us. I'm fairly positive Hit on Top doesn't outspeed. Yeah. I don't even think at max speed it would have outspeeded. It doesn't reach the 300s like we do. We barely reach the 300s at 313. We're barely fast enough to take out some of these bulkier mons. I can tell you one thing. I'm not fast enough to take out that thing. And I'm just going to sack off Huggy right now. As he actually goes for Volt Switch. It's probably Scarf Volt Switch. I'm going to try and get a free Earthquake here. Off on somebody. Hopefully. Oh no. He's a. Uh, are you Expert Pelt? What are you? What are you? Uh, now I can just go out into Bronson. And click. Let's let's uh let's think about this. Ente. I'm already on Ente. Okay. Cool. Iron Head. Iron Head's definitely not the play I'm gonna play right. I'm gonna you know, go with right now. However, however, versus a melodic, Stone Edge is gonna be doing the most. It's gonna be doing the damn work. It's gonna be doing the most. To a Jolteon, I don't think it matters what I do for a Jolteon. I think, I think, yeah, I think either Stone Edge, Stone Edge knocks it out. Stone Edge is just my best play right now. Uh, so I'm going to click Stone Edge. As he does go Milotic, please don't miss. Do get a Stone Edge off, and it's a crit. So my best play right now is just stay in, click Stone Edge. It's, it's literally all I can do, and hopefully not miss. Yes, and we get another crit. The crit didn't matter, but we got that. Okay, so Stone Edge takes out my Lodic. Now he's probably just going to go Beware. Because uh, Beware um, I can't touch him with my Stone Edge. Uh, and he can get off a free anything. And my switch is Sloking. My switch is definitely Sloking. Or my switch is Pebbles. No, my switch is definitely Sloking. Yep. And we go for Psyshock right now because we're not trying to let this thing set up he knew we were going to he knew we were locked into uh banded uh, stone edge uh, he goes for shadow claw does crazy amounts of damage we get a psy shock off and does about half so that's at least a little good uh he's probably got fluffy so we're just gonna go back out into bronson click sacred fire and it does kill sweet Oh, I love Beware's cry. Sounds like me when I'm waking up. 
Uh, there's no reason for me to swap, so I'm going to click Sacred Fire. Uh, I eat that Vol Switch a lot better than I thought it was. So he's not Life Orb, he's not Specs or anything. So he's... I don't know what he is. Um, Umbreon... I, I can kill Umbreon, I'm pretty sure. I can definitely kill his Umbreon with a Sacred Fire. There's no reason for me to swap out. So he forfeits. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We just took on that live. We... We broke, at first we were breaking even, and then we came out with a solid 3-2 victory. Um, I'm calling it quits right there, guys. I feel like my maximum for any live should be five battles, even if some of the battles get cut short by forfeits. Um, I mean, I don't know. It just depends, I guess. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to say right now, you guys, is um, the live's over. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Please click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want more Pokemon content. And also, um, leave a comment in the video below. Leave me suggestions for next week's Team Builder Tuesday. And I will highly, highly take any of those into consideration. Honestly, right now, uh, with, the level of, with the level I'm at in YouTube, I will take any suggestion and I will run with it. I promise you that. I promise you, promise you, promise you that. Any suggestion, I will take it and I will make it a reality. Thank you so much for watching uh, this episode, you guys, and I hope you uh, have a good uh, whatever it is, whatever, whatever you, whatever you got going.